Hello everyone, this is Monica from Sunshine Creativity. Welcome back to my YouTube channel today. It has been quite a while since I was last able to make a video. Today I'm going to take you on a journey with the new Spellbinders Home for the Holidays collection. Using the Poinsettia Spray die set, I have cut all the pieces off camera and here you can see them in a little toddler dish. I use these dishes to place die cuts for specific projects into as I can divide them into the different areas. The dishes have a good fitting lid which keeps everything together. Here I am gluing together the foliage. I like to double up the base of whatever the focal image is. This die set has extra leaves that you can cut with a slightly different color cardstock and place them onto the spray. You can see that I am sorting the leaves as they are too oriented in different directions and you need to be sure that they fit onto the correct leaf on the spray. The die cuts out a number of leaves in one pass so this is not a tedious one leaf per pass cut. I will speed up repetitive gluing in the video so that you get the idea without sitting through the long process. Now it's time for the flowers. The spray has three different types of flowers. The poinsettia which comes in two sizes, the little four petaled flowers that I have cut in white and then the small trumpet ones. Each of these flowers have at least two pieces that make up the whole. There is also a set of three holly berries. I use the We Are Memory Keepers quick stick for all such little pieces. Each base piece gets three of the little berries on them. The trumpet flower has three pieces. There is a base for the rim, the rim and the little trumpet. I am sorry that a lot of this assembly went off screen, I am still in the learning process of video making.
Here you can see how the top of the flower is adhered to the trumpet section to make a small, truly three-dimensional flower. There are six of these little flowers in the die set and all six of them cut at once. And now comes time for assembling the flowers onto the foliage spray. Of course you can add them in any way you like. The bigger rounds are for the flowers and the smaller rounds are for the trumpets. I do appreciate that the foliage spray has good little round spots that hold enough glue to adhere the flowers to. Finally I'm adding the holly berries onto two spots on the branches and this completed my spray of flowers. At this time you can see that my video has got a bit shaky and that is because I live in Arizona and we are in monsoon season. The storm suddenly came overhead while I was filming this. If you have followed my blog for a while you know that we are full time RVers. Living on wheels is sometimes a bit wobbly in thunderstorms. Using the emerald cut labels and tag, I created a red mat and a white fluted layer onto which I am going to frame my spray of flowers. I use Bailey Art glue which is my go to glue. I added them to the front of an A2 size note card.
and then I added the spray of flowers. Once they were glued down, I went along and made sure that all the little flowers had a spot of glue under them too. I did not add any dimension to this card as I wanted to be able to mail it. I added die cut sentiments from the Spellbinders outlined Christmas sentiment die set. I do like white die cuts on black shadows, especially with bright colors like this. They definitely do not get lost in the mix. Yes, the storm was pretty violent. And then I wish to show that even though this is a Christmas set, if you make the flowers and the background in a different color, it can be used all year round. I made the same spray in pinks and purples and it definitely works as a birthday card. The sentiment is from the Spellbinders Serenade Sentiments die set. Thank you very much for visiting my channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. All the supplies that I used are linked below or on my blog.